successive governments. They lived in uh, uh, British colonial government, in Kenyatta government, in Moi yeah. government, and Kibaki, uh, Kibaki government. These are people who were found there. And then there is a second case of uh, people, individuals, who went to the forest because of the pressure by the white settlers to, to plant tea in their land. 60% yeah. of yeah. our land is occupied by the white settlers, yeah. by the British. Uh, who right. who so have there tea are issues. Farms. So there are many issues yeah. that we expected him to address. Look at the tea industry. It is collapsing. Yes. He needs to address. It's a national matter. Because yeah. by the end of the day, uh, tea brings a lot of revenue to us. Uh, all right, the they'll tell you that they're dealing with all these things. And uh, well, how would you respond to somebody who says, this Keter is an, you know, a tribalist. Mm -hmm. All he's championing is what the Kalenjins are not getting. The railway, the the railway yeah. issue was not a Kalenjin no, issue. Okay, let me, let me it's a national it. matter. And, and somebody will say, the things you are asking the deputy president to do are antagonistic to national cohesion mm -hmm. in the national interest. You want him to serve particular interests, which he's saying, I'm above because I'm a national leader. I'm deputy president of Kenya. I have to look at the country and not what you guys, uh, Rift Valley, want me to do. I can count the things that are national that I've raised. One is about the railway. Yeah. No, not about, not about you, mm -hmm. but about the deputy president and his performance. His failure to deliver what you think are goodies that ought to go to Rift Valley and to the Kalanchin community. The response, his answer, or somebody would reason, it's because those things are not, are, are not uh, uh, in sync with the national. No, interest. I didn't disagree with the... Uh, that you are pushing a tribal agenda. Our deputy president. That we have not been rewarded sufficiently. Not that. Not yeah. that as yeah. such. It is a matter of uh, national interest. You see, it is him, the deputy president, who said we should suck 100,000 Kenyans mm. to reduce the wage bill by 30 billion. It yeah. is him yes. who said that. Yeah. He also said shoot to kill. We, to me, we have colleges who are Muslims. Shoot to kill. Mm. Meaning, and those who are, they were targeting some uh, places in, in Nairobi, that is his Lee, mm. and some coastal uh, uh, region. You know, when you say shoot to kill, it is the old days of doing, doing things. Yeah. Do well. a proper... Uh, I remember when we lost people in uh, Baragoy. Yeah. You, 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 you cannot engage a shoot to kill to become a solution to stop some insecurity issue. Yeah. It can never be a solution. Okay. You, you have <coughs> said, uh, and uh, the Deputy President said, uh, uh, you're pushing him too much. He said last weekend mm -hmm. that even when Moi was the Vice yeah. President under Kenyatta, he was not pushed. Mm -hmm. People were patient mm -hmm. because it takes time to do some of the things you guys want him to do. We, we, what is your response? Let me tell you, as Kenyans, we have no time for a leader who can stay for one month without doing anything at the moment. Because look at what how we're moving. What is not doing anything? That's a very, you know, sensational <laughs> statement to make. Of course he's doing something. <laughs> he's doing something, but you are not seeing results. We expect results by the end of the day. I think you are in a hurry. Someone let, would let, say, let, this let. is youthfulness, hurry, impatience. Yeah. You're not no, no, giving no. time to you, things to look happen. Look at one year. Because I everything is not built in a day. Let, let me count the things that they have not done. Yeah. Even the railway, it was started by Kibaki. Yes. It has taken all this time. You see the laptop project. Yeah. What is stopping them from moving? These resources were resources that were meant for a rerun. It was already in place. Because if you were to, to, have, uh, to fail to have 50 plus 1 as Jubilee, then we were to go for a rerun immediately. Those resources were put to the Uwezo Fund. No, I'm saying the Uwezo Fund. Yes. But where is the Uwezo Fund? At the moment, it is not in the grassroots. I thought they would release the funds last month. The youths are still waiting down there. I come from a background, from a constituency, where we were waiting for these resources, and they are not in place. Look at the laptop project. Okay. Nothing is moving. So... So you, you said that, yeah. The extent of corruption. It is, it the is extent of corruption. You are very worried about that. The corruption. Every project, there is corruption. Who do you think is perpetrating it? Is it the top? Is it being done at the top or the people who are the so-called psychophants? You know, the top should really do something. Eh? We want to see people go, go, go to jail. We want to see. They have talked about the cartels on yeah. a national TV. Yeah. That there are cartels who are stopping projects from moving. 
They should tell us who are these cartels. They even said, I was working for some of the cartels who, do want, who wanted to have that contract of railway. Let them say, let them announce on a national TV. Let them announce. Yeah. Okay, uh, before we conclude, I'll give you some feedback here. Uh, very interesting. A lot of people don't agree with you. A few, uh, you know, others agree with you. But you have said that, uh, you know, the deputy president should run for president in 2017. I say it because... If uh, he does not, you will run. Yeah, I say it. <laughs> and you have to... Uh, <laughs> what was the context of this? The statement? context of... Uh, yes. I raised a concern yes. that uh, it is important that the two political parties, because I, be, I was a bit worried mm. that uh, if things are moving like the same way, yeah. that I don't see support coming our way in 2022. Mm. If our brother does not have space now, yes. so you can imagine what will happen after 2022. Yeah. If you can't share this, will he be given space and support to really run in 2022? I say that. Yeah. And our constitution allows them to run anytime they want to run. Mm. Our deputy president can be the, pre the, 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 uh, the uh, presidential candidate and our current president to be running it. Mm. The constitution allows that yeah. because the constitution is very clear okay. that no individual or a person shall, uh, shall serve for more than two terms. Yes. Not consecutive terms. Yeah. You can run today, then yeah. lose an election for 30 years, yeah. then you come back and win an election, and then you retire. Yeah. Okay, let me just give you a bit of feedback as we close. Uh, a lot of people are writing in. One uh, says the DP is no longer your social friend. He is a national leader serving 40 million Kenyans. Two, uh, somebody else says, you know, true, uh, Keteri is a true, uh, is true and is fighting Ruto in favor. Uh, no, that Keteri is fighting Ruto in favor of Moi's son. <laughs> That's Jerry from oh, Kitale. Oh. Another one, of course, says good things. Keteri is a very honest and hardworking uh, MP, and we are proud of him. That is Jared from Kisumu. He says this Keteri has nothing to offer, no solutions. He knows everything, but understands nothing. <laughs> 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 and as I says, this Keteri is, is uh, you know, a lot of things. Uh, Just anyway, middle of it, no problem. Uh, you know, <laughs> they say there's a serious accusation that Keteri gave positions to his friends. His PA, bodyguard, and a driver are all from the same village of uh, uh, his village <laughs> and you gave them empty promises um <laughs> you must be a straight leader otherwise you will straighten you in 2017. <laughs> no problem uh, then keteri is a puppet of former president daniel, daniel arab moy who is alleged to be scheming against ruto i was never in a megaphone of moy i was never in kanu and uh, i don't see where we okay. have shared platform what's your relationship with the gideon moy gideon yeah. moy yeah. we yeah. have never been together in any we don't do business together we are not we are not in the same party we don't. We don't come from. We are, we, we are not from the same region. We we ca I come from Nandi. He comes from Baringo. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Yeah. He's he's more close to the deputy president than me. All right. So anyway, just to sum up, we our time is up. Uh, two things. One, what is the general mood? Mm -hmm. You know, speaking as a leader from the DP's uh, community, and you, you know, uh, uh, being from the same community. What is the general pulse on the ground? Should people think you are representing that feeling, that mood, or you are just a lone ranger? I'm not a lone ranger at the moment. They started by saying I was a lone ranger. But uh, I have support from even majority of uh, members of parliament. Mm. You can see the, uh, the executive have said we should not go on with the impeachment of uh, Waiguru. Yes. But uh, you see uh, the efforts that are being done by members from our uh, URP. Yes. And TNA, it is becoming more national uh, uh, <laughs> position than uh, an individual's position. Right. Do you think she'll go? Hmm? You think she'll go? It, uh, Did you put your signature on the? Yeah, I put the signature. Is it still intact or it's very intact? It's about very to fall intact. off. Very intact. <laughs> you don't think this pressure will make it? There is no pressure. Yeah. That pressure was. Uh, it is a foregone story. The pressure that uh, they are trying to pressurize on one individual. It is bigger than Linturi. Right. This issue is owned by over 200 members who signed. Yes. And uh, it must go on. But the deputy president said, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it is not about uh, the cabinet secretary. That is, is why I have issues with him. You know, he has no business with the and he has said, keep quiet. You we have, have three arms of government. Yes. yes. We have the legislature, 
We have the executive and the judiciary. And there is no arm that is superior than the other. Yeah. It should allow us to execute our responsibility, our uh, mandate as members of parliament, our responsibility of oversight. All right. Let us oversight every state officer. All right, I, we have to end it there with a very interesting quote. I mean, uh, SMS here. Uh, <laughs> we didn't, of course, look at your performance at the constituency, uh, Nandi Hills. Uh -huh. uh, next time we will come, we will focus there because yeah, yeah. we want to find out whether you're doing a good job on I'm the I'm doing a good job. But uh, somebody says, you know, Honorable Ketel, br uh, bravo. You may be a gun for hire, but we are shooting in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a very strong statement. We like your agitation for equality among Kenyans. This is Maurice from Kosovo. I think <laughs> that's a very interesting... I wanted to say something. Uh, yes, your final, final word uh, before we close. My final words. Yeah. When I started uh, being speaking my mind, many issues have been raised. That Keter speaks for many contractors, I don't know, politicians, code sometimes, or Moi, Gideon Moi, many others. Yeah. But I don't see anything that I'm raising that needs someone to be funded to raise. It is very clear and you, you remember when I talked about uh, Rugut issue. Yes. Where Linturi does not even come from uh, our region. Yes. Not even, he's not just a Kalenjin, but he does not even come from Drift Valley. Right. He's a Meru from, uh, from Eastern Province. Yes. These issues have some interest of national importance. When Kiblimo Rugut was sacked. And he's from Nandi. It wa he was Promoted sacked. Promoted. And I want to explain that. Promoted. He was sacked on a Saturday. Sunday, he was told not to appear. The Dindi is the one who received Chinese Prime Minister. Yeah. On that Sunday. When, when Rugut was still the, 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 the real uh, director. Uh, director General. Kedinji was sworn in two, two days later, and he's the one who received. So it was like a coup. When we raise political pressure by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, is when they resorted into sacking now, into transfer. Pro promoting him. Promoting him. Yes. And if you remember, how can you promote someone? And our CS, Waiguru, said that uh, we are trying to restructure yes. NYS. We want to have people on board who can move forward, who can transform, which means... Uh, Rugut was incompetent. Yes. Because if he was competent, then he should be the right person to restructure. Right. And to move, to, 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 to improve on uh, NYS. Yes. If uh, so, uh, an incompetent person could not have been promoted. How can you promote an incompetent person? <laughs> That's what I was asking. <laughs> All right. On a Sunday. All right. <laughs> Let's leave it there. Uh, Alfred Keter, he says, I'm my own man. I represent nobody. The views I'm raising, the things I'm raising are national. Uh, I'm not a gun for hire. That's it on Public First Interview. See you tomorrow.